Hey guys, so today I felt like doing something different on my channel. I felt like showing you guys how to create certain things, especially for beginners who don't know how to do certain things like contour, highlight, um, apply foundation, or anything like that. So I felt like doing a series of a how-to series on my channel, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now, I know my face looks gross. <laughs> I just, for this video I'm going to do today, I typically don't apply my foundation. Uh, I just go straight to the eyes just because of the technique that I'm going to do. Today's how-to video is going to be how to create a crisp wing eyeliner. And I know many people have trouble with wing eyeliner and I still do. But I'm going to show you guys the easy way, the easiest way you guys can achieve the wing eyeliner and how you can have it crisp and so first things first i'm going to use a primer or you can use anything you have this is mac soft ochre since i did not apply any um eyeshadows i still want my eyelid to be pretty nice and you know so you, you won't see like the veins and stuff because i still i'm going to put foundation and stuff like that so i'm just applying some paint pot onto my eyes you can apply a concealer and then dab on some translucent powder or any powder you guys have on top so it won't crease. With this product, it doesn't really crease on me, so that's why I'm not going to do that. But if you don't have something like this, you can you can use a foundation or a concealer and then just apply some powder on top and it's going to be fine. Okay, once I'm done with applying that um, eyeshadow base, I'm going to go ahead and take some sticky tape. This is just going to help with making that line even more crisp. So I'm taking the sticky tape and applying this on the back of my hand. I'm kind of just like, you want to remove some of the tackiness from the tape so it doesn't like hurt your eye because your eye is a sensitive area. So you want to follow this line right here. So you see how like the inner corner and outer corner, wherever the outer corner is, you want to keep on extending that out. So my eye shape is basically kind of hooded. So I open my eyes, it's kind of like, the crease goes over the skin goes over my eye you also have to keep that in mind because my technique might not work for your eye shape but it should work for most eye shapes so just getting the sticky tape and following that line also do this if you want to make your eyeshadow more crisp and um, like cat eye so yeah you can use this for your eyeshadows and also for your wing eyeliner so, I have three types of wing eyeliner techniques that I do. The first one I always do is this one, which is the NYC Liquid Liner in Black. This is amazing. The second one will be Kat Von D Trooper Tattoo Liner. It looks like this. And then the last one will be using Gel Eyeliner. This is the Inglot 77 Liner and the Sigma E10 Brush. So, for beginners, I feel this um, Kat Von D liner will be perfect for you guys it's because it has a little tip like that and it'll be easy for you to like kind of map out what you want um i use this all the time like on the rush and stuff like that so this is amazing and also this one is great as well um i feel like with this one you have to be a little bit more careful because it is a brush tip and you know the brushes can like, move everywhere and stuff like that but this is an amazing, amazing product, especially for three bucks. You can't go wrong. Um, a lot of companies like Maybelline and uh, like L'Oreal have similar ones like this. This is just the one that I personally like. You don't have to get this exact same one, but I know a lot of companies from the drugstore do have similar, like, um, do have similar styles as this pen. So, does any of you guys know? You guys can go to the drugstore and get one yourselves if you feel more comfortable with this. I'm gonna show you guys. The way I do it with this, with the gel liner. Okay, so I'm taking the Anot 77 liner with the Sigma Small Eyeliner E10 brush. And it's just a little liner brush. It kind of looks like the, like the NYC liquid liner brush. It's just, you know, like actual like brush form. So this is the Anot liner. You just want to take some of that. And what I do, I take some. And then I take this, which is like the top. And then I just put some on top just to make it um, straight. So then I look down to the mirror and I'm just going to go kind of flick it out a bit. It's okay if, it if it, the liner goes on the tape. That's the whole purpose of the tape. Um, so yeah, you just get that. 
and then you go in. It really depends also on how thick and thin you want. So you want to take your time if you want it thick or thin. I'm just going to go all the way in, as you can see, and then fill in lightly the inner part. And if you guys saw, I have not yet dipped it into the product, so this is still like that one application. So just going in to the inner corner, like that. You see like that little weirdness right here, you just want to fill that in as well. You're going to go up and down, up and down, and then fill in whatever you forgot. And like I said, it's not going to be perfect, so just going to take it off. And that is your wing eyeliner. So is that simple? Okay, so I'm going to use both the Kat Von D and NYC liquid liner. So with the Kat Von D, I'm going to map out my line. So you can just use one. I'm going to use two for the sake of the video. So like, I, ooh, I have concealer on my eyebrows. Okay. So like I said before, you want to follow either the brow, the end of your brow, or the end of your lower lash line. So you want to mimic the same thing you have on the other side, which is kind of hard for me because I mess up a lot. So let's see how I do. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the outer corner, right here. So you're going to map it out first. So I'm looking down to the mirror, just so I could like see my the way I'm placing this. So I'm looking down. I'm flicking it up a bit. So I'm going to look at both eyes. Okay, it looks pretty good. Then I'm going to take this and just drag it down as well. And then start, you know, shaping your eye. Okay, once I shaped my eye with this, as you can see, I still need to fill them just a little bit. I'm going to use the NYC liquid liner just because I find it's more black than the Kat Von D Trooper. So I'm going to use the liner and it kind of comes off thick so you just want to like take off any excess product that you have on the brush just because you don't want it to be so like messy. So going back, just retracing what I have done before with the tattoo liner. Ah! Okay, so now I'm done with the liner. So they both pretty much look the same. If you were to have any difficulties, like it's say like the liner is like down here or something, you can use a concealer to like clean it up. You can use a concealer brush with concealer and just kind of just remove any product that doesn't look doesn't look right. Also, you can use a makeup remover wipe just to kind of wipe out any um any bad edges you may have on your liner and also it'll make it crisp as well. So you have many different alternatives to perfecting your wing eyeliner. Um, I feel like the most important thing will be um, the actual product itself because some products may not work and then like you're like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and then like it just looks nasty and patchy. So any product you use, make sure that you like it and you know it's really dark enough as it's tense enough that you want it to be and then also cleaning it up if you make a mistake because obviously when you're doing makeup for the first time especially when I know you make so many mistakes it's crazy like I still make mistakes I think today um for some reason it just worked out um but most of the time I messed up my liner so bad so I have to go back with like foundation or concealer or makeup remover wipe or like remover makeup remover with like a q-tip and like kind of clean it out so you have many different options in cleaning out your wing liner. Just because you messed up doesn't mean that's the end of like the day. You can always clean it up with it or you can always remove it and redo it again. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is looks quick, not really quick. I just really went in depth. <laughs> I went in depth with this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this how to do your wing eyeliner look. And if you have, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.